Hi guys, welcome back. Today a very particular look. I'm gonna copy this movie poster from Elizabeth Taylor in the movie A Place in the Sun and it's a, a 50s um, look um, inspired to the pop art and we are trying to recreate a painting uh, so the face has to look like a painting and I hope you like the tutorial and um, I'll leave you to the makeup. So as always I'm gonna start hiding the brows so I'm using a pretty thick glue and I did about two or three layers to really flatten uh, the eyebrows down and I'm helping myself with the spatula so I'm really gonna um, flatten the eyebrows against the skin. Uh, after using the glue I'm gonna use an eyebrow wax uh, and this is gonna fill all the little hair between and also I'm gonna use the spatula to really press the wax into the hairs. Then, to seal everything in place, I'm gonna use the Ben Nye Clear Latex um, and I'm gonna be really careful for the edges, so really blend the edges into the skin. And once the latex is dry, use some um, transparent powder just to fix everything. Now, uh, to conceal the beard, the ashiness of the beard, I'm gonna use this concealer from Makeup Forever, which is in this orange color, so this is gonna get rid of uh, the ashiness of the beard. And after using um, this concealer, I'm gonna cover the brows, so I'm using the color D32 from my Cryolan Camouflage Palette, so this is gonna conceal the darkness of the brows. And after using this color, I'm gonna use a skin tone color, always from the same palette. So once you finish to apply uh, the skin tone concealer, fix everything with the same transparent powder we used before. Now, as a foundation, um, I'm gonna mix uh, two shades of L'Oreal Too Much, is the number one um, ivory and the number four uh, beige, and I'm gonna apply all over the face and on the neck. And now it's time to start drawing the brows and as I don't want to go with the black um, because if I do a mistake it's gonna be very hard to uh, erase I'm gonna start with a brown eyeshadow so if I make a mistake and I don't like the shape it's really easy to change it so after we are happy with the shapes of the brows I'm gonna take a black color from the aqua uh, palette from Cryolan is you can use a normal body painting or face painting color it's just a black one and I'm gonna fill the brows in and I'm gonna color them so they're very precise and very intense Don't worry if you do mistakes because it's normal, so just take a cotton bud dipped in water and then go back with your concealer to remove the uh, black. So after I finish the brows I'm gonna fade them a little bit upwards so draw some little lines on the top and just blend them with your fingers. To achieve this uh, movie poster look I'm going to draw a line under the jawline and make all the neck as a shadow 
so I'm gonna color everything in black. Now, while I was recording, I lost a part, but basically I mixed uh, the white color, the brown and the gray to give shape to the eyes, as you can see on the poster of uh, Elizabeth Taylor that I put in the beginning. So just draw some lines. Uh, the white goes under the brows and the gray into the outside corner of the eyes and then use the brow on a duo fiber brush to sketch um, the inner corner of the eyes and the sides of the nose and we're gonna apply it also on the top part of the cheeks uh, and using a dual fiber brush is great because it's, uh, it gives kind of uh, um, how do I say, scratches on the face so it really gives us the effect of a drawing now I'm applying an eyeliner a very wide one with a nice flick in the end and I'm also gonna apply a line of eyeliner under the eyes So going back to the brown color is always from my body painting palette so I wet it with some water and always on the dual fiber brush I'm gonna sketch the sides of the face so um, basically we're gonna highlight the shades of the face the shadows of the face so on the top part of the cheeks into the temples the corners of the chin as you can see using a dual fiber brush it really gives us the effect of a drawing Now I'm doing a mixture of this light yellow and light uh, pink and I'm gonna um, do some highlighting on the face so in the center of the forehead on the um, in, on the apples of the cheeks in the center of the nose and center of the chin basically we're just building the texture of the face because as we want we want to have the effect of a drawing the, the skin and the face is gonna be really texturized it's not gonna be just one color On the apps of the cheeks I'm using a, an HD cream blush from Makeup Forever. You can use any cream blush and just blend it with your fingers and then go back with the duo fiber brush because when you blend you lose some of the details. Now I'm gonna add details to the face to give this very drawing and pop art look. So I'm starting from the corners of the nose, just tracing a line and then with the clean brush we're gonna blend it outwards. We're also gonna highlight the nostrils, so make them black and blend it downwards towards the mouth. And we add some lines also under the under eyes area and also blend them. And 
also some um, shadows in the inner corner of the eyes. So some black lines and blend them together with the others. Now it's time for falsies, so I'm gonna apply a set of falsies under the eyes and on the top as well. Now I'm going to apply on the lips this Ben Eye pencil uh, in the color Beach Red. You can use any red pencil um, to um, contour the lips. So we're going to contour the lips and then we're going to fill uh, them in with the same pencil. And then after I'm going to apply um, body painting red. You can also use a normal lipstick as long as it's matte. To emphasize the lips, we're gonna also contour them with a nice black line. And After we finish, we also trace some lines in the sides of the chin uh, to give always this effect of drawing and then some lines in the center of the mouth, always using the black. Now let's add some white details to the mouth. Final touches, I'm gonna add the beauty spot, which is really 50s. And now I'm gonna highlight again with some pure white in the center of the forehead, center of the nose, top of the cheeks and chin. When Matilda put the wig on, um, I'm, go I'm also gonna um, give shadows to the ears and blend it together with the rest. So this is the finished look, it's a very um, particular look and you can use it for carnival as well. Um, I hope you like it as always, if you do please thumbs up and share it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you to the next one, bye bye!